are yours welcome back to my channel tech focus trending please subscribe to my channel tech focus trending guys today i'm going to discuss about most uh, important topic is java java 8 and latest versions of java java 11 so java 8 what are the basic uh, features got introduced in java 8 also what are the uh, more uh, extra features got introduced in java 11 and comparison between these two and what is the basic advantage if when you move from uh, older versions from java 6 to java 7 to java 8 also with java 8 to java 11 those uh, comparisons i'm going to show here guys so uh, yeah in the next coming move into the next slide what are the features got introduced in java 8 so guys here uh, we can see a lot of features got introduced in compared to older versions uh, from java 6 to java 7 java 8 got have a lot of the features like lambda expressions method references functional interfaces streaming apis some default methods in the interfaces base 64 encoding and decoding mechanism some of the static methods within interfaces optional class, class for null pointer exception dealing collectors class for some filtering operations for each method for same kind of iterations for us also there's some javascript engine to execute javascript uh, code within the java java layer uh, also sharding parallel array sharding there are a lot of other features kind of miscellaneous functionalities that introduced in java 8 guys you can see overview of these which each feature in our coming slides i'm going to the next slides so here you can see lambda expressions what is the lambda expressions so lambda expressions is again a kind of a functional programming uh, style coding guys so when you write when you say single interface single abstract method interface so with this a function completely java 8 is a functional style programming guys so we can use some functional interfaces they introduce in java 8 so to uh, there is only one abstract method will be available within this functional interface so we will be writing this lambda expressions we can use this same single abstract method interfaces guys also we can use method references what is method references there is a when you're writing these lambda expressions we can call this uh, within the functional interfaces we can call these all method uh, lambda expressions by using this method references referring the method by using this method references concept guys java 8 is one of the big uh, good concept uh, calling these method references and we can see more uh, like functional to value told there is a say, say single abstract method interface what we can call it as a functional interface to do some lambda expressions for programming guys all these functional languages functional implemented interface kind of implementation using these functional interfaces guys and already told optional class they in java it is one of the cl optional class got introduced for to, uh, dealing with null point exceptions it will be available in java it will java dot it will package guys and I'm going to this uh, next slide for each for each method like in java and now we have java 6 java 5 java 7 and all we have normal for loops and we can iterate those for loops and all we'll do it but in the java 8 we have for each method for each method to iterate these collection and collection uh, <coughs> collection objects guys so this for each got introduced in java 8 while writing these functional interfaces and lambda expressions we can say uh, explore this for each uh, method guys also there is a date and time api got introduced in java 8 for uh, uh, one of the java time java dot time dot package we can see this uh, date and time uh, <coughs> apis guys and we can move on to this default methods there is a method in, in within your interfaces like we already told already told some functional interfaces are there in java 8 within those interfaces we can there is a um, method got created with the key and uh, default method got created with a uh, keyword called default we using, using default keyword we can create these default methods guys these inter within the interfaces if java 8 is providing these default methods also there is javascript engine to execute javascript code within the jvm layer jvm level this uh, javascript engine will be useful like there is two levels uh, we can execute this when using J jjs command line tool also embedding with the say, java source code directly into the java source code also uh, and you can see a lot of other features some string joiner within the java.util package we have string joiner class uh, string joiner class uh, to uh, concatenate the like we can construct a string by using common delimiters hyphen 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 are the delimiters we can say so we can use a string joiner also collectors class i already told you within the object class we have uh, we have collectors uh, collectors is a final class it will be available to summarize these elements whatever the different kind of uh, criteria elements we can to summarize with this collectors class we've used mostly when you're writing this uh, lambda expressions we can uh, explore this collectors class guys we're using this collectors filters methods some other uh, extra method features are there in the streaming methods filters and all that time you can see this collectors class also the streaming if i told within the lambda expressions when writing some lambda expressions we're iterating this uh, some of the 
uh, thoroughly list API collection APIs. We can see this streaming API, streaming API also one of the uh, core uh, class that introduced in Java 8 guys. Also stream filter to filter some of the early to the same way uh, in the long expressions to filter out some I want to fetch only a uh, particular department data. You can use this filter within my uh, iteration process. So this stream filter will be uh, useful for that case guys. And we can see some other features like Java Base 64 encoding and decoding mechanism. So there is a package called uh, java.util.base64. We can import this uh, into our source code and we can do this encoding and decoding mechanism by using this Base64 guys. Also, there is a parallel array starting. Uh, starting. So, so what is the parallel array starting? And we can use this array, array short like within our Java. Normally, we don't have normal array short, we have normal basic array short. There is a parallel array short is not there at all in the older versions. This Java 8 got introduced this parallel short, guys. So it will be very useful while doing this uh, shorting of arrays, guys. Mm, it's an overloaded method. And there is a Unicode enhancements. There is a we can see some Unicode enhancement, different kind of uh, Unicodes got uh, introduced. Some new scripts got in, uh, introduced in Java 8, guys. Uh, this Unicode features when you, want, you can't much use this Unicode, but some guys when you are using this <coughs> Unicode mechanism, that time it will be very few different kind of scripts got introduced in Java 8. You can explore these scripts here within my slide. Also, we can see some uh, <coughs> API classes, calendar and the local API classes. So for dealing with calendar and the local like 18 kind of um, international operations this calendar data provider uh, and calendar name provider classes guys available and you can move on to that's it guys about the java 8 and when um, showing a little in the beginning of the uh, <coughs> video itself java java 8 and java 11 both i'm going to show the java 11 features what are the java 11 features are available here we can see compared to java 8 so there is a oracle versus the open jdk differences like one up to java 10 we have the open source uh, feasibility to use any java versions now from java 11 onwards it is like a licensed version guys so there is no uh, open, uh, free free support for the java guys and we can see new string methods there is a lot of uh, string <laughs> operations got um, added in the java 11 is blank the different methods like is blank strip strip leading strip trailing and also repeat this kind of different different me uh, <coughs> string methods got introduced in java and guys we can explore these by using a multi line string already uh, told already in my earlier videos also this multi line string how to split the string in multi lines without the concatenation operations guys and we can move on to the next slide uh, so here we can see file methods there is a different uh, java level there is a new file methods got introduced read string and write string guys so the earlier it was like a new file and different operations was there in uh, file to, to reading and uh, writing the strings in java 8 now it's a uh, java level it's uh, two simple methods only read string and write string are starting with got introduced to reading the file guys and you can see there is a array method within the collection earlier we don't have this uh, to array method within the collection level so now this got introduced uh, within the collection package that's two array by two array method so it will be useful while you are uh, doing some list operations guys collection operations and we can move on to the not predicate method so we have the predicate class in java 8 java 9 and all so within this class we have some uh, they introduce some not method so this is negotiation methods like we can see this in, in this class when you're trading the string we are using some filter predicate string is blank so normally we'll use the early java 8 and java 9 we use this string is blank predicate method but now they are introduced not also there is a not method not introduced it will be useful so doing some not operations whatever uh, negotiation operations wise mm -hmm. we can go with a local variable in java 11 there is a, a, a good keyword got introduced this is a where keyword so it was there in earlier also now it is supported more in the standard support with the where keyword uh the java 9 or java 10 they introduced this local where keyword now it is java 11 they explored more on this standardize this where keyword guys to while writing this uh, same kind of this uh, long expressions with the list operations team that time you use this where keyword guys you can see here normal map normal where x we are creating the local variables creations here in this where keyword now we to move to this http client one of the features is a good feature is http client got introduced in the http package java dot dot java dot net dot HTTP package in java 11 guys now it was there in java 9 now it is standardizing with the completely with java 11 also and some improvements have happened with the java 11 and they completely support for the http 1.1 and http 2 also so this way we can use this http client guys 
I will be doing some REST calls, backend REST calls and REST with the REST client and all. It will be very useful HTTP client. And NIST based the access control, some NIST mates and associated access with the JVM. They introduced uh, some rules, the NIST rules they introduced in Java 11. Guys, and um, uh, we have, there is another good feature, running the Java files. Already we know, everyone knows the basics to how to run, uh, compile the Java code. So Java C, some class named on Java. Now earlier versions, now with the Java 11, we can see directly we can, with the, without using Java C, we can directly compile, compile the Java code. Java directly class in our Java. It will print the data, guys. So this is a good uh, uh, feature they introduced in Java 11. And also we can say already uh, <coughs> told where keyword, where keyword got introduced. We already discussed with these things where keyword. And lastly, there is a release flag. There you can see there's some release flag where you can uh, compile older versions with the uh, uh, higher versions like Java 8, Java 7, Java 9, 9 codes and all. We can use this release flag. So you can see here the release 8. We can uh, with the command run, we can run this red die hyphen hyphen release 8. We can compile these older codes guys by using this release flag. And lastly, we can see last uh, what we the, some of the other features they uh, <clears throat> what they did for Java 11. So they have removed completely some of the packages, guys. This is our <clears throat> Java XML packages, web services for web services, Java XML binding, and also activation framework, also annotation. Some of the annotation they have removed completely. This package got removed, and this architecture core raw architecture got removed, and some transactions transaction uh, uh, package also got removed, guys. So that's it guys these are the java 11 core features what they have implemented compared to java 8 and we can explore those actual features what we discussed as of now here within this java this slide we can see java version 8 supports the applet viewer tool but java 11 this applet viewer tool got completely removed there is no support for this and java 8 does not support pattern recognition but we can see java 11 supports this pattern recognition by using some of the predicate methods and also we can use java we can see java 8 contained only told the files in the java 8 uh files there is a file, file reading and writing the files they're using files dot lines and files dot write methods now it's uh, uh, completely in the java 11 they they have moved those methods into registering and registering it from the same file they're reading and writing the operations they're using these methods instead of file dot write file dot write they're using registering and registering guys and java 8 contains some of the packages jms and java fx tools now java 11 is completely removed there is no uh, packages like java games and java java fx and java languages so these are the core features guys what i'm showing not complete uh, like 100 percent features are there still some more uh, miscellaneous features are there those are not much core not core features these are the core features what they have migrated from java 8 to java 11 so these uh, these, these are very helpful when we're migrating our older projects from java 11, java 8 to java 11 these features need to take care guys uh, take into the picture to migrate completely from java 8 to java 11 yes. so that's it guys if you have any queries please comment or please subscribe to my channel tech for trending i will uh, come up with uh, some more examples with java 8 and java 11 features my next videos coming videos please subscribe to my channel guys thanks thanks for watching bye